Merlo, Merlo, you look old. Hey man, how are you doing? Um, Nicola, you guys have not faced the Phoenix Suns in about five months. Uh, what was the emphasis of practice today? What, what were you guys focusing on leading into the series? I mean, just to learn a little bit about them. Uh, they're playing, of course, really good basketball. Uh, they're, they're, they're really, they have a lot of good players. Uh, that know their roles. Uh, they they're really versatile. They can play small ball. They can play uh, I said normal basketball. I don't know how to say. It. So just to learn a little bit about them and just to focus on us. You know, to know what we're gonna do and uh, how we can uh, attack them. Pat Graham, Associated Press. Hey Nicola, sorry about that. Can you hear me okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry about it. Hey, uh, I just uh, just want to ask you, uh, how much does Chris Paul make them go? And did you grow up watching Chris Paul at all? I didn't play basketball. I mean, Chris Paul, I think, <laughs> was uh, playing in uh, New Orleans. Not New Orleans. What's the name of it? Is it New Orleans? Yeah, New Orleans. So I didn't play basketball at that time. So, uh, But he, he's bringing a lot. Actually, I am met uh, on the All-Star. <laughs> He, I, I talked to him a little bit. He's a really cool guy. He's really smart. He's really dedicated. He knows about basketball a lot. Uh, he knows basketball a lot. So he's bringing them that calmness on, on, on the floor. You know, it's basically like one more coach on the floor so it helps, it helps them a lot, especially they're kind of young, kind of. Um, and, um, you know, when you have someone like that, plus a Drake Carter, who is a... Uh, who is really a fighter there, you know, when you have a, two veterans that one, one of them is like really smart and one of them is really tough. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, really good for, for uh, to set the tone for everybody else. Michael Pina, Sports Illustrated. Hey, Nicola. Um, Monte Morris <clears throat> just had the best uh, uh, playoff series of his career. I was wondering if you could speak to just his importance to the team right now and just how you and him kind of interact on the floor. Yeah, I mean, Mont is a kind of a really true point guard. He didn't play like that the last couple of games, you know. He, we need we needed to, for, for him to score and he accepted the role and he was scoring, you know, he was attacking the basket. He was making a big, a big shots. Um, so he he's... Uh, He's the, someone who is not going to make the uh, same mistake twice. You know, he's not going to guy. He's not actually. He's not even making mistake that 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 uh, that, uh, that uh, much. So the just the, the kind of the focus that he's playing of making a right play every time. It's really good for us. Vinny Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey Nicole, uh, DeAndre Ayton seems like he's coming off a pretty strong series against the Lakers. I guess what do you what do you remember from your matchups earlier this season or, or in previous years about DeAndre? Uh, uh, I mean, he, uh, I think he's the, uh, the, the 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 player that ha that I have the most uh, kind of trouble. Uh, he guard me really well uh, the whole the whole season. But the whole uh, we had back to, we had the game at home and we kind of had a back to back at uh, their place. So he really got me really well. Uh, he's the guy who is, uh, I mean, I mean, I actually talked to him uh, in the game. I told him that I really liked their team because they're a really um, group of really good guys, you know, they are completing each other. Uh, and just about him, you know, he's a, he's actually a really good two-way player. Uh, he's playing on the both sides of the floor. He's a big body, he's rebounding the ball. He, he have a couple of post-up moves. Um, he can shoot the ball a little bit, so he's a. Uh, I think if you want to like have a really good big man to start, just to have, I mean, in general, I think you, you can pick him because he's young, he's not getting he's not getting injured, he's 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 playing the whole season. I think I, I think he played the whole season, I don't even know. Uh, but seems like he's um, he really know trying to to trying to. Um, do the right thing, you know, trying to play defense, trying to play offense, trying to do the right thing.
Christos Saltes, SDNA Greece. Hello, Nicola. Hope you're doing well. What is the most challenging part for you as a team in that series against the Suns? And how important is the game one of that series? How important is to set the tone from the game one? Uh, I mean, did, did, did we ever won a game one? Uh, I mean, to be honest, you know, I don't know, is it important or no? Yes, of course, if, yeah, yes, if it's important, if you can win the game, yes, of course. But I think the whole uh, playoff, in the, you know, you can see the, how the, the teams are losing at home or just winning on the road. It's just the, the every game is different, you know, so the main thing is just to, to, to be focused on the game and, and know their stuff. Uh, and be focused, uh, executing our stuff, you know. So it just the uh, the mindset needs to be the same uh, as as the Portland series. All right, that'll do it. Thank you, Nicola. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.